back to the channel. So this time we're off to my local show, which is at Truck Fest, which is at Shepton Mallet at the Royal Bath and West Showgrounds. So just going around the outskirts of Froome at the minute. Um, traffic's really light, just cruising along. But yeah, we don't normally video in here because I'm normally on my own, but this time we got Georgina in the cab. <laughs> normally I'm in the van. Normally in the van with mum, but mum's coming up later. So yeah, so we're just on the way there now. Let's hit it. <laughs> So it's day one here at Truck Fest. Just gone half past eight. I've already got my monster truck on display, um, but we have to bring it from the pit area to here up on the main road. So we want to do it before all the public come in. So Alan in the slingshot truck, he's just maneuvering it in now. It's quite tricky. I'm, I'm interested to see how he gets it in. I actually just came in and turned straight into here. So it's quite tight. As you can see, it's quite tight. Okay, I've got to talk quite loudly because I got the music on in the arena now. They're just testing the PA system. Got the cars all set up. Got some quite nice cars this week. A lot better than the convertible we had last week. Got this Mercedes, still got a slight problem with it. It's automatic, can't get it into an, a, a, a park gear. And it's got an electric handbrake on it, so it might wander around a little bit to start off with. But yeah, so we've got four cars in at the moment. We've got another one over the back for tomorrow if we need it, because um, I think that that Mercedes might hold up the weekend. But we can always make it five cars later. JP for a broke FMX they're just getting their lorry ready so it's just coming up to nine o'clock now let's get on to some of the action here at Truck Fest Southwest my local show are you ready for the gladiators no you better be they're coming here they come here they come here they are they don't get in the way oh. I'm just gonna get <laughs> hello Hello YouTube! Hello! Is that really big? What, your face? Yeah. Um, yeah. I haven't got a big head, you're just really close in. There we go, that's normal size now. <laughs> picture look what Alfie has made and apparently you was up to nine o'clock last night making this wasn't you Alfie thank you buddy okay so we're here at the show and we've got young Toby with us what have you made for us Toby I made a picture for, of, for Tony of Swamp Thing and you've got it going over the cars and you've even got the Lucas bag in the back of it well done well thank you coming so if you've got any pictures make sure you bring them over and you get in the vlog just like Toby hold it up Awesome. At the show, we was given fan mail and we didn't get the chance to record it at the show. So, Aidan McKenzie took this photo of us at the Devon Truck Show this year. And also, he's got his own truck, which is on BeamNG. There's Dad. 
<laughs> bit dirty. I'm anyway, a bit dirty. Anyways, back to what I was saying. <laughs> so this is his truck on VMNG and also put his YouTube channel on the pack. You play BMG, don't you? Yeah, I play that game all the time. Yeah. This is a really cool looking truck. Yeah, that's the one he wants to make when he when he grows up. Yeah, I reckon that. I reckon that would be really cool to see. Yeah. So thank you, Aiden, for sending these amazing pictures. So, so we're just 15 minutes away from your debut of driving Swamp Thing in front of loads, loads and loads of people here this weekend. But like I said on the microphone. I'm, all, I'm not focused on them, I'm focused on the cars. So what, what are you going to be looking at when you're in the truck? I'm going to be looking at all the gauges. Yeah. I'm going to look at all the people outside, outside where the high is, yeah. the distractions, and obviously the most importantly the cars. The cars. So how far are you going to back up? So I can just see the bottom of the first car. That is it. So that's how I line myself up in the cars when we do the trucks, truck shows. I go up to the cars, make sure I'm happy where I am, reverse back until I see the first car. Then you've got to know how far it is into the cars. Um, yeah, so just look, come into that. All I want you to do is just come in, roll onto the throttle, and at the last bit, just give it a little blip. Not a big blip, because it put the front right up in the air. Like I've done before. Like you've done before, but it's going to be good. Yes. Just enjoy it. <laughs> finished day one just refilling all the fuel containers back up now because I don't like pouring it out these ones I can pour it out them ones into the back of the truck they, they pour a lot easier than these so I just transfer it all across but Georgina had done her first show yeah today I did yeah it reared really well got a good reception yeah the fans the fans liked it so yeah so just getting ready just had a barbecue just refueling now and then we have a wander. wander and then we're going for a wander, yeah? Yeah, we're going to go for a wander, oh. see what's about, check oh, those. Oh dear. Uh, oh. I put too much in, it's going to uh -oh, go anywhere. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that's a waste. That's because you were talking to me. I wasn't paying attention. Wow, wow, you've got to do your job properly, Tony. What happened? What happened? What happened is it's really cold. <laughs> I've got to pour it back in there now. Oh, Tony. Oh! Remember that time I said uh, we should get we should have a spare siphoning thing. Oh, no, it'd be, it'd be all right. It'd be all right. See, now it would have come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do something, but I can't do it because of YouTube. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, so it's the end of the evening here, and we're just taking a walk around Truckfest to see what is going on. 
So if you come to Truck Fest, you do not get to see everything that happens, all their trucks with all their lights on. So let's take you around the show now. So this is something new. Now, quite often you get, especially now with electric cars, they break down in car parks and you can't get recovery trucks into the car park to rescue the electric vehicle. So they have got this thing. So this can actually go and pick up this big four before it lift it up onto the tracks and then they can drive it out on remote on the little engine and then put it onto a recovery truck to get it back to its owner but yeah that is something really new that's only just sort of started taking off here in the UK so at truck fest here at Southwest they've got quite a big fun fair with some wicked rides I don't think I could do very well on that one I don't like going round and round anymore since I've been getting older but I do like a good dodgem but there they got loads and loads of stuff here at Truck Fest. So what's happening? Uh, go, you're doing hook a duck? You can't do it! You can't do it! <laughs> You're rubbish. I think it might be one of these. Oh, 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 she's snubbing the alligators. Wait, what, what, where are you going? So we've gone all the way round and we've still picked the first thing we've seen. <laughs> there you go. We have a winner! <laughs> so, Georgina, so you got, what did you win? Yeah. What do you think? Big kid? Yeah, big kid. I love it! So this is quite a big crane, but what made us, made us laugh? Because you can see it all the way down here, and then he's got legs. Crocs. Crocs With and socks, socks up, Crocs, Crocs and socks. socks. What a bad combination. He's only meant to blow the bloody doors off. It's the Italian job. This is quite a cool one. Oh, it looks. Oh, wow. It even goes all the way around the back. What the hell is. Oh, I know what that is. Tyler, there's something on your head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've been swamped, have you? <laughs> so we do love a Scania, and there's a hell of a lot in this row. So let's have a look at some of the trucks with all their lights on. I can ride on these ones. Yay! Only just. Only just. <laughs>
Well, there's wheel fell off. That's not good. It's finally happened again. It's been ages. But it's been probably 10 years since I've last off the wheel. But that is why we have wheel tethers fitted on the monster truck. It comes off at a very, normally it stays with it, but it's come off at very, very slow speed. Got the recovery guys from PRDC, the Professional Recovery Association. Luckily they got a massive wrecker here, what's managed to pick it up and they're just going to reverse it back in and then we can assess the damage. I know it's messed up the, the nice chrome cab, um, not too bad, but I th it's ripped a piece off the bottom of it because when the wheel come off, it's hit the cab and then it's hit the back wheel. But, I, I, was, I was filming it on the wrong side. I should have been on the other side. Yeah, look, see the damage on it now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so we've got, I've got all the bits to fix it. Hopefully here. Yeah. If not, we'll be loading it back up into the trailer, but I'm pretty sure I've got all the bits. So I've got all the, all the spindle and everything. Got to place a lot of axle components on the yeah, front yeah. and rear. Poor Swampy. Yeah, I'm going to stick it on them, Scott, yeah. Yeah, so got Scott, who used to work for me. Hi! Hello. Hello. <laughs> Keep coming. Lad, there. Yeah. Okay, so we didn't manage to get the stage uh, to show two today. I'm really sorry and also I'm sorry for the people who come to the show and they want to meet the sign stuff I was really just trying to get the monster truck fixed but let's go through what broke so on the monster truck we got the wheel spindle so that is what the wheel spindle is so this bit bolts in there so that's that ring of bolts and it's supposed what, to be an extra bit on there there's meant to be a, a long bit on there but the problem with the long bit when so when this broke it broke the half shaft so the half shafts look similar to that but that's a that's a stock one i didn't want to put that one back in it but when it when that broke it bent the end of this and it actually couldn't get the wheel all the wheel bearings sit on this and i couldn't get the nut off to get the wheel bearing out i've never had that problem before i had new spindles i had all, every, all the half shafts, all the bits, I just didn't have the nuts, which I'll show you what they look like now. Um, but yeah, so I've had to nip back to the workshop and now I've got, I'll put two new nuts on there. I've got another four nuts in my van. So if it ever happens again, um, we'll be good to go. But the wheel tether did its job. So this is the wheel tether that was on the truck and it snapped it. Um, the idea of the wheel tether is to try and keep the wheel with the monster truck but if it doesn't it takes a lot of the pressure out if you pass us the, that's the other bit that's the bit what was on actually on here on there so that was and that goes all the way around the wheel um we've got new ones to put on it now so if we if we was doing another show we could but it's going back to the workshop. I'm going to go through it in the workshop, check it all out. We've got a bit of bodywork damage. Uh, just a smidge? Just a smidge. It's, <laughs> it's a bit battered and a bit split. Um, we'll see what we do with it. Do you, put in the comments, do you still want the, gre the chrome green on it? Oh, well, yeah. We ain't getting oh, it. Yeah, yeah, but you're not in the comments, Georgina. I can be. Like, yeah, yeah. I want chrome green. You want chrome green? So I've got Everybody a... loves chrome green. No so one... I've got to fix it? Yeah. Yes. We okay, well, that's going to be in a video coming up soon, me fixing it. Also, we've broken... The other time, we, a couple of weeks ago, we broke a half shaft in that side. What quite often happens is it when it breaks, it puts a shock load through the diff. And now this one, either the diff's broken or it's broke another half shaft. We're going to fix that in the week as well. I'm going to have a busy week this week because we're going to go off to Santa Pod for um, the European finals. Um, and that's going to be a busy show as well. So, yeah. Better get cracking. I better get cracking. Oh, thank you, Georgina. Better get cracking because you're all you're doing is editing the video. But you're, hey, right, you're hang on a minute. I do help. You do. I, I do help. <laughs> thank you. Just I do, um, I do the videos as well. Yeah, you have to do the videos as well. So, uh, that is going to be the end of it for this video. So, stay tuned for to find out what else I find that's broken. There's definitely something broken in the back and we've got to try and fix the, the chrome wrap on it. I'm not sure if that's going to be fixed 
this week, but it will definitely be fixed the week after. Because um, I'm going to cut this piece out and make a new piece, I think. You're going to cut, cut, cut the swampy teeth off? Uh, yeah, <laughs> cut the bottom of the cab off and probably try and join it in up here somewhere. Like what we did last year. Yeah, or last year on the other side. Yeah. But yeah, but I think I've got to paint that as well. But we'll thank see. you for watching, guys. Thank you for coming to the show. And I do apologise if you did come to the show and I didn't, you didn't get the, get your stuff signed today. Um, but we'll hope to catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.